okay we're going to make the sauce and here I'm going to measure out about a third of a cup of um, good grief okay a third of a cup of chicken broth and I'm going to add oh about two teaspoons of uh, cornstarch I'm going to add three tablespoons of sugar. I decided to use brown sugar in this. I think it'll turn out good. Oh, just a little more. And three tablespoons of vinegar. Yes, I buy it in a gallon. Um, if you don't want to use vinegar, you could use lemon juice. It would be just fine. Measurements do not have to be perfect in this. Anytime it's a stir fry, it can vary. And I need three tablespoons of soy sauce. And uh, I think that's all. Yep. Mix this up, and this is going to be your finishing sauce, your sauce. And also here on the table, I have some of my ingredients I'm going to have used. This is optional. I'm going to make it kind of hot. Some uh, red pepper flakes. Here I have a big garlic that I'm going to chop up tiny. And here's some uh, ginger I'm going to chop up tiny. Here's some uh, pineapple that I bought, went to the grocery store, and it was horribly expensive. So I went to their salad bar and just bought like five, six pieces. And here is some um, shiitake mushrooms. And I like to buy the kind in a bag. And look, they're only $3.79 for a great big bag, and they last forever. And you just pull out how many you want. So I chose to get five. And red bell pepper and green bell pepper that I'll chop up. And garnish some cilantro. And also some uh, green onions. My pan is hot. I'm going to add some vegetable oil. It's probably a quarter cup, third of a cup. Quite a bit. I'm going to add my raw chicken that I cut up in the little pieces. I like little pieces. I'm going to dry this up. It'll take about a minute. While this is frying up, I want to tell you that all my ingredients that I'm using are interchangeable, or you can mix it up. You can put your own ingredients in here. It doesn't have to be what I'm doing. Uh, you can leave them out. You can put more in, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to cook this like halfway, three quarters of the way, and right here, is my pan that I cooked. I didn't cook rice, I cooked ramen noodles. I'm going to serve it over ramen noodles. So I have a pan and a strainer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump everything in there and uh, get all or most, most of the grease out. Most of the vegetable oil out. So I'm just like shocking the chicken. And I think it's done enough because we're going to cook it some more. Let's put this all in there. Now, 
This is going to go quick. Here is the garlic, the red uh, chili flakes, and ginger. I'm going to put that in there. And just let it go like maybe 15 seconds, 10 seconds. The garlic to burn or anything and that's one teaspoon of red chili flakes which is optional now I'm going to put in the red bell pepper and the green bell pepper Let's go back around just let that go for about a minute Okay, my uh, red and green bell pepper has probably been going two minutes. I'm going to add the um, scallions, the green uh, onions, and the mushrooms. And stir that in. And um, like I said, you know, you can vary all these ingredients to your liking. Make whatever vegetables you want. And, but the sauce is what really makes it, you know, the sauce that we made earlier. And now I'm going to add the pineapple. The onions went for, and mushroom, onions and mushrooms went for about 30 seconds. Put the pineapple in here and kind of get a little cooking on that. Oops. And I don't know if you can see but some of this has um, red pepper flakes all over it which is optional. I'm going to let this go for another minute. Be right back. This is cooked about three minutes. I like my um, bell peppers kind of kind of done. I'm going to add the chicken back in. Stir this around for a few seconds. The pan's starting to get hotter. You know, if you double this recipe, you really need to cook over high heat. And um, but then, of course, if you use like a, a thicker pan, it retains the heat a little more. But I like to use uh, this pan. It's my favorite one. So, okay. Now for the sauce. The sauce is where you get tons of flavor. Stir that up and add that in. And it's only going to take like 30 seconds to get it thick. It's going to go pretty quick. Although my pan really cooled off, so that's why I'm talking about. See my mistake. Um, you need the high heat. You really do. This is almost a, a vegetable dish instead of chicken. But I'm only cooking for me, and this will be like two servings, maybe three. And only one chicken breast. So I'm not, oh it's, it's getting there, it's starting to get thick. So I'm just going to go this, let this go for another 30 seconds and then I'll plate it up. So here's my ramen noodles and just going to put some of the sweet and sour on here. Nice and juicy, just perfect. Didn't that look pretty? It tastes even better. And here's some cilantro. I'm going to add on top. I like cilantro very much. And if everybody likes cilantro, you can add that to your stir fry at the last moment. Just at the last moment. But if, if everybody doesn't, just put it on top. Bon appetit. Thanks for watching. You'll love it.
Bye-bye.